Hello there. So if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I journeyed to Smith's because I'm not near any Lego store and picked up another 11 Series 25 Lego CMFs, which are new for this year. Again, hopefully we'll get some images of the next CMF that comes out in May reasonably soon as they tend to announce it around the same time as all their other sets that we should be starting to get later on next month. But we already got one in the January Lego order and that is the Paralympic athlete here with the leg blade, a really cool sprinter. And I only ordered one because I knew at some point there was gonna be some method with these boxes to finding it out. Of course, for the Marvel CMF line, we had a little trick where you could sneak through the corner of the box, get a little glimpse at one of the special pieces, especially with all the different colors. But for this line, We've got a gamer with the same coloured torso as a harpy, similar blues and then pinky purples. Again, there's a blue cap for the train kid. We've got a few different greens, a few whites. It's going to be a lot harder with this than determining which Marvel figure because it worked quite well for the Marvel line. So what is that technique, you may ask? Well, for the sprinter, I have kept the majority of the box. I did say I kept the box. Well... I kept the important bits that mattered. You can see there is a little QR code on the bottom and this is the same one you'll see in the clip when we're at Smith's. All the bottoms of them had the small one. However, if you manage to find a box of minifigures that actually has the bigger QR codes, you can scan them. And if you scan it with your camera, it does take you through to a page with a bunch of numbers. Very complicated. However, if you were to download this brick search app that i've got here you can see that you can actually scan it through the app and it will tell you which minifigure you've got based on the qr code so we will be scanning all of these boxes before we open just to see if it's a hundred percent accurate and there's no way to know if the smaller qr codes work because we have nothing that can scan the smaller qr codes i suppose if you were a factory that printed for lego you'd be able to scan it but as we are not a factory printing for lego we have no idea what the smaller qr codes mean the batch numbers i guess you could try and work out some math for to find different minifigures however there's still a chance that you're picking up the same minifigure from a different batch so let's get all these boxes lined up and we'll go through them one by one to see if the qr codes are accurate so as you can see over on the right, we do have my phone. I'll try not to get too much reflection from the ring light, but we already have the sprinter. And all you've got to do to determine which minifigure you have is scan this QR code on the bottom of your box. Now I do have a problem with focusing on the app because it doesn't seem to use your cameras focusing. But once you've got it scanned and it does seem to take a while. Let me get this focused. And now I've finally got it working. It did take a few attempts, but you just position the QR code in the middle of it. Give it some time. And eventually, there we go. So this minifigure should be the Triceratops costume fan. It tells you the set number, which I'm sure is on the box. It is just in the top left corner. The year it came out, 2024, and it does say zero pieces, which hopefully there aren't zero pieces in this box, but there's only one way to find out what it truly is, and that is to open it on camera again with this new Series 25 line. I will say it's sort of annoying that they got rid of the perforated edges on the top because that was quite nice for the Marvel ones, and they just sort of tear open not very nicely compared to the marvel ones but if we open it you can see that it is indeed the triceratops costume fan which is actually funny because it's the one that's shown on the piece of paper here now as you can see on your screen we did get a t-rex that came in oh it was either the last series or one of the few series before it and this goes very nicely with it i have got to put on the towel here but it does go very nicely with them also if you're creating some sort of fortnite mock they both go very nicely together with each other as you do have the different dinosaur skins in the game 
And as you can see, all of these minifigures, well, at least most of them, are going to have some sort of arm printing, arm detailing, and all the different... I mean, even the towel is printed, which is crazy to think LEGO wouldn't have done half of this so many years ago. Even the Marvel ones have some side of the leg printing with any character that really needs it. So hopefully that comes over to the lego series cmfs and we are rumored to get a space one coming out around may time and a d and d one in september so we'll have to see if either of them include the same detailing but if we take a look at our second box open the scanner once again you just gotta go back and you're ready to scan your next one so if we get the next one scanned you can see this is meant to be the harpy well once again there is only one way to prove if it is correct or not and our survey says it is indeed correct again so it's got a pretty good track record so far i mean really all it needs is for one of these to be wrong to have that track record completely ruined but the harpy is quite a nice build i do actually have a instruction sheet here which does show how to put together the wings for the harpy the battle axe for the bat lord here and also how to build the train for the train kid they're the more complex pieces as i think the only other part that needs to be built is the magnifying glass which is pretty straightforward if the glass isn't already in the black plastic rim but i will also be ticking off all the ones we get hopefully we get all of them in this video as Otherwise, I don't really know how I'd be able to get the last one. If the QR technique doesn't work, I guess I'll just have to go back to peeking in each of the boxes. Now, the Harpy does also come with a, what seems to be a brand new hairpiece. It sort of looks like a, it's very similar to the frog actually when it's upside down, but it does allow for the hair to go down the back of the head and also for the wings to not get in the way of each other which is a pretty cool hair piece and then some wolverine claws i guess to act as the harpy's claws which are not the easiest to put through lego have definitely done something to their minifigure hands because i'm having so many problems trying to put the things in the hands and i'm never used to i know it's been a problem for a few people i've either just lost my touch or Perhaps the hands are a bit smaller to enable them to grip weapons more. I have a few older Lego hands that don't clip onto blasters as well as they used to and just wear down over time. It might be something new Lego are testing, but that's two out of the way. Three if you include the old one, but that's two out of the way. Accurately predicted by the app. And now let's go for this one and start working our way through the back ones. Now... I have also promised my fiance she can open the mushroom kid which is her favorite from the series so if it is that one i will be handing over to her to build but this one is indeed the goat herd which is amazing because this sees the return of the goat technically in the cmf before the set comes out later this year with another brand new goat element the goat was originally included in one of the medieval village sets i'll put a picture up on screen for you and that one is different to this we have seen three official lego goats because that one came with some spots printed on the side now before we get into the herder himself you can see there are no spots on this goat this isn't a misprint and i guess any misprints of the original goat will now be worth a lot less because it's been readily made available into this series 25 cmf now i wonder if that will affect the price of the original goat i don't really see it having much effect people that want a cheap goat will pick up the cmf people that want the original will still be paying the silly money for the other goat but later this year as i've mentioned there is another set coming out which includes a gray goat which is going to be really interesting to see how the price of that is affected by this because you can pick up this goat for well £3.50 with the scanner app and you could probably even get it slightly cheaper online where people are picking this up just to sell the goat for two three quid and make some money back for their cmf collection and alongside that i think that is the reason why the herder himself is going to be very very cheap once these all retire and 
once no one else can pick up the herder in store because so many people are going to have so many herders just for the goat and selling on the minifigure so it'll be interesting to see how the prices are affected perhaps later this year when i cover one of the later cmfs i have to take a look because lego does tend to i mean these will probably be in stock the year round but as soon as the next one comes out they'll definitely retire and lego have even got to retire in the cmfs when the next one comes out the herder is actually quite a nice minifigure you can see it's got one of the older brown hoods which works well with this minifigure and also a i guess goat for gelee on on his green jumper which does have nice patches on his left arm it's a shame they couldn't include it also perhaps on like the elbow of the right arm and just make both arms unique but he does come with dual molded legs with a little money satchel this is why i said it'd be great for like a robin hood minifigure with that money bag down to the side or even use it as some sort of person collecting taxes from the village you do get the spare walking cane and also a spare bit of wool which we did get a spare claw for the harpy i'm not really sure where i put it but i just whack these to the side and now we've taken a look at the minifigure we'll take one last look at the goat because it does look really really cool ignore my shaky hand because this is the same exact mold same with the gray one the same exact mold as the first one and it's crazy to think that so many more people will be able to get their hands on a goat especially because the last one was a somewhat limited run and right now lego are just making it based on how many people are picking it up so this also means that nobody should be tearing open cmf boxes to try and find a goat i went into my morrisons the other day and all the final disney ones were torn open i mean there was a giant ant-man figure left there which i tried to piece together i would have definitely bought if ant-man was there but someone had nicked the little ant men that was in it which is surprising because the box even comes with two of them just buy the minifigure don't go tearing out lego pieces and stealing the bricks you want you might as well buy it all support lego and they'll end up making more so hopefully more people are scanning using this really cool brick search app and it's not just used for scanning the minifigures but what you can also use it for is to scan sets and I think you've probably even scanned through your Lego. I've seen a few apps for that, but I'm not here to show that off. Just simply how to get the full CMF series. And so far it's been working. We are currently free for free. Can the Fierce Barbarian make us four for four? Hopefully so. Again, there's got to be a better way to open these. Perhaps we'll start opening the side tabs, pouring them out. And that does indeed look like the Fierce Barbarian. And... What was cool about tearing it open at the side is there was indeed a pamphlet in that box but it sort of holds it in the box and doesn't pour that out every time which i mean really i only need one for my complete series to tick off i don't need to get them all in fact i should probably be ticking it off as we go through but take a look at the fierce barbarian we've got this cool red hair piece with a band that goes all the way around it's a shame that we never got this detail for hunter but i guess if we did they wouldn't have probably printed the skull on it though we do get some printed head pieces for like ahsoka i guess so to be fair we could have probably got the skull still printed on it just wouldn't have been as detailed as the headpiece. the barbarian does have some sort of wrist covers here some lower arm covers just like ahsoka does speaking of the star wars character the legs are very very detailed side of the leg printing there we go just like the marvel series and the legs themselves are dual molded which just packs on that extra detail so i guess the bandage that goes around the lower leg and the ripped bottom of the shorts has been printed on as well the front and back of the torso does look amazing and this definitely could be given some longer sleeves and added to your viking display i'm a big fan of these custom printed swords it's just like the Gryffindor sword we've got in Harry Potter only it's not the Gryffindor sword it's a completely different sword but I really like the custom sword printings and if we do get a series for something like Dungeons and Dragons I really think we'll get a load more custom molded weapons which could be really really cool and as I said before we get on to the next one we might as well tick off the ones we've got we've got the goat herd 
the harpy, the barbarian and the dinosaur. And as you can see, we are nearly halfway through the complete series. In fact, there is only 12 to collect. It's a shame they're not doing 16 anymore, but if that means we get three series a year, I'm okay with only getting 12. So on to the next one before we open it. Once again, scanning the QR code, and this time we are getting the Film Noir Detective, or are we? Because we haven't opened it to confirm yet. Once again, opening the side, which I think is the easiest. There might have been a flash of red to give it away, but we do get the Film Noir Detective. Now, he does come with a sort of cape piece. I don't know if it is a cape piece. It's more of a collar piece. We'll take a look at that in a second. But this is really cool, as it does look like the Noir Spider-Man from Into the Spider-Verse. In fact, we'll need the collar before we put the head on. So let's take a look at it. Once again, using the paper packaging to protect the cape it's a bit small compared to the paper packaging but i understand that this is usually used for a few bigger capes so it makes sense they wouldn't create a whole new range of packaging just for the little collar pieces and i mean they don't really make any karmas or pauldrons for the star wars clones not out of material much anyway so it's nice to see lego using paper it is still a shame that we don't have more paper lego sets but I'm happy we haven't got so far any plastic bags for any of these characters. Now the hat does seem to go on a slanted bit, but I'm not quite sure how it's meant to go on. Perhaps I've got it on backwards. That seems to do the job. And as you can see, the magnifying glass is indeed just the one piece. In fact, it does work as a magnifying glass if we were to can't really show it off on camera you just have to take my word for it but it does indeed act as a working magnifying glass which is really cool if you're trying to read certain brick ids for lego which you won't be needing any more really if you're selling on bricklink i've got a whole video complaining about the new bricklink changes for february but i think it's really cool that it actually works as a magnifying glass and isn't just something built for lego display but the Noir Detective does come with a red fish. Uh, it comes with a red herring, which is great on Lego's behalf. And I really like the fact they've given it accessories because they really could have just left it as it is. I'll definitely be making this into a custom Spider-Man Noir. And there goes the red herring. <laughs> so I guess the red herring can just be in front for now. That's two of them that have technically come with some sort of pets and we are now five for five and halfway through our minifigure cmf series so i really do hope that we're not let down by any of these qr codes but unless we get all of them we can't know for sure if it is indeed perfect so the next one is vampire knight which is actually the bat lord from one of the old lego sets when i go over the customs you can make with all of the cmfs I do mention some of the original minifigures that these are based off of, so definitely go check out that video. If this video gets, let's say, five likes, I will make all of my customs or some of my customs using this whole CMF line. That is, if I do have all of them, if not, I'll make the ones that I can with the figures I've got. And it does look like it's not going to let us down. We do get the Bat Lord and, of course, the display plate for him to go on. He does have a cape, and again, if you don't know how to make the weapon, it is stated just on the back of the instructions, though it does look pretty simple. You've just got the double-sided hilt, the Darth Maul hilt for any Star Wars fans, with an arrow on the bottom, and then you get two of these axe pieces that just clip the opposite way to each other, and as you can see, that sort of levels them out. It's a very great mould on LEGO's behalf, but that is just one of the weapons as we also get this bat printed shield which is always nice to get another printed shield from lego in fact the new set that comes with the goat does have a few of them and actually a shield maker painting on all of the designs which is really cool to get we only get a spare arrow for it which is very interesting because i think the actual axe piece and even the hilt is smaller than the arrow but i guess more people are likely to lose the arrow and you can definitely get a bunch of these minifigures 
Of course, don't forget the cape and build a whole army to go against your Lion's Knight or whichever other faction of knights you've collected. Of course, the Lego logo on one side of the cape and then a very, very nice printed cape with the bat on the same logo as on the shield. And it does look very nice. They've come a long way since this minifigure was first released by Lego in an official set. And the cape itself is much more of, I want to say it's like a papery material. It's much less of a fabric. And I'm a big fan of it. Look at the way the cape just stands out from the minifigure. I'm not sure if you can see it as good as I can on the camera. But it's a new material for a cape. I'm not sure if it's papery or plasticky. But it feels very nice to touch and as you can see the helmet just really completes this minifigure. I'm very happy. If I was only collecting a few of them this is definitely one of the minifigures I'd go for first. Though in saying that I think I could say that about half of them especially with the goat, the noir detective. So I'm not sure I'd be able to pick up just a few. But it's one of my favourites from this series. The printing on it. We didn't take a long look, but there is arm printing, some very nice leg printing. It's a lot better than the original minifigure. The helmet mold is very, very nice. The weapons that it's been given are definitely unique. They're not 100% original. I'm sure this is definitely going to be used in some other design from Lego at some point. It's a very nice battle axe, so I can see that returning for the D&D series. But the shield printing is very, very nice, and I do like the way it matches up to the cape. These have actually been very easy to snap into the hands of the minifigure. So perhaps it's actually the parts and not the hands that have changed. But we are now six for six, five more to go. Let me move the arrow to the other side and we'll take one from the right. I don't think we've done too many from the right. And this one is going to be the fitness instructor. Now, I watched someone else open these based on their weight, which is a very smart way to find out which characters you can see clearly there are some figures with a much higher piece count than some others that that sword no way weighs the same as a backpack a stick a tile and a goat so you can definitely tell out of them too which ones are heaviest which ones are lighter perhaps if combined with the scanner you can just be that much more accurate but they got so many fitness instructors i guess it's not going to be a popular one because it's something that you could probably also get in a Lego City set compared to something like a goat herder or even a harpy and a dinosaur costume which there's not too many costumes in Lego City sets when there is they're more ice creams and something that fits with the build but we do have the fitness instructor which I think still is a cool minifigure they come with shorts which do have that same mountain logo printed on the actual shorts which we have seen a few times before actually got a nice arm tattoo there which we also got similar to the bathtub biker which came with a nice duck back tattoo and we do get a few printed pieces in this set first off let's get the spares out of the way so we can take a look at first the dumbbell which is or the kettlebell or whichever you like to call it because this does definitely look more like a kettlebell 10 kilos perhaps as that is quite a decent weight to be lifting and this fitness instructor is breaking out of sweat i do love the sweat or the paint covered faces it's just something different to the regular faces and i think that's why i like the orange eyes on the star wars minifigures so much but as you can see in the image on the right, we've also got some Vita Rush, which is like a Lego City vitamin drink, which I guess if you ordered enough of these or picked up enough of these, you could make a little section in a Lego store selling these drinks and have a bunch of shorts to give to football players, to swimming, to people in the gym, to people on a hot sunny day queuing up for an ice cream i really do like these short pieces we did get shorts in a cmf a while back i think it was series 23 24 with one of the characters and i really do like that minifigure too but it's quite nice to get a vast array of minifigures as i said these tend to pair up especially with the more recent series and we don't really see it with this one they're all very unique figures that have their own different stories behind them which is very nice and 
I think it'd be great for Lego to release a comic or a magazine or something to try and link them all, as I'm pretty sure they did it with one of the most recent series with all the Christmas minifigures. But now we are supposedly opening up the eSports game, our thought to go. It would be really disappointing if one of these was wrong now because it's given us so much hope with the other seven that we've opened and i'm sure if we had a large qr for the first one we would also get the same result because this is indeed the fitness gamer i mean the esports gamer the fitness instructor was last it gets very confusing with all these names but it's nice to see that you actually get the names on top of your screen as well if i was to Back out of the image, you can see just at the top, E Sports Gamer, and once again, same set number, same year. It's funny that they have zero pieces, but I guess these aren't registered on LEGO's official site, so it makes sense that they don't include the official piece counts for each of them. And also, sometimes we get pieces like the magnifying glass, which personally I would consider two pieces, LEGO consider it as only one piece, and the E Sports Gamer does actually have two sets of these green headphones which was very nice to get i think peter quill from guardians of the galaxy came with two sets of headphones every time he did as well so it's very nice to get a second pair of headphones you can add them to anyone in your city for example emmett when he's listening to his awesome soundtrack nice pink hair which is not too far off to sabine's to be fair i think it's a different shade it's a bit more pinkish than sabine's but we also get a trophy that they must have one and also not only one keyboard but two mices or mouse or mouses mice i'm gonna say mice two mice with the gamer which i guess makes sense esports gamer I've got to have some accessories for the computer i think a monitor might have been preferred to a trophy but as there's nowhere to clip them it is quite a nice minifigure to have so let's get the mouse out of the way three left to go of course we are still waiting for the mushroom kid which honestly i thought was going to be one of the first ones we get out of the way but it could be this one as we scan it we'll find out that it is in fact the train kid so almost there we got one of the kids it's now a 50 50 for the last one so we'll have to check but first is this the train kid it is indeed the train kid hopefully i can cut out some of this video where i'm opening each of the lego tubs just to make the video go a bit quicker because it has taken some time but the train piece for this reminds me of the boat we got again a few series ago they're definitely keeping some themes through like with the dinosaurs perhaps we can even get another dinosaur costume next year but we do get an awesome printed tile for this one and a few accessories to i guess give the train as it chugs along past again if you're unsure how to build it it is on the back of the little pamphlet you get to tick off all your minifigures but i'm pretty confident that i can remember the way they go so it's going to be even more embarrassing if i get something wrong again a bunch of smaller pieces so you do get some of the duplicates you actually get a second train dish which has got that 25 printing on we'll take a look at the train in a second but it's very nice that lego gave us a spare dish because i mean they really didn't have to it's a big enough piece i don't think anyone's really losing it and much like the train i think the feather gets in the way a little bit at the top or the the cloud of smoke sorry it is a same piece as the lego feather so i guess that's going off to the side as you can see in the leaflet it would have been nice to get it going backwards but then we wouldn't have got the minifigure behind it and of course you can display the train without it and this is a really nice minifigure make sure the legs are straight and the middle train wheels are actually built in to the train mold so you can definitely take the legs off and roll it around like a normal train but then middle wheels are not going anywhere as you can see right on the front the 25 dish with some lovely printing not only a 25 i mean they could have really printed the 25 on a stud and gotten away with it but they've printed some nice lines around the dish as well which do look really cool and even the printing on the torso with a little red bandana and that it makes the kid look like a little conductor himself you can definitely whack on a pair of bigger legs and suddenly he's conducting a real train which would be awesome for a train display or some sort of mock around the city now 
50-50 as to which one is the Mushroom Kid. Leave your guess in the comments below before you watch this video. Pause it, head to the comments below and leave your guess which one you think is the Mushroom Kid, left or right. I think it's going to be the right one. So let's take a look at the left one and we can see by scanning the QR code we have actually got oh, a problem with the app because it doesn't seem to be scanning. So I don't know if this is telling me to go with the other one first. We'll come back to the left one. Let's take a look at the right one. And neither of these seem to be scanning, which isn't great. So I might have to come back in a moment. So not only is the app not working at the minute, but my light has also decided to die. So I will not end this video until we have found out what is in these two boxes. Again, drop your comments down below which one you think holds the mushroom kid. But so far, we have got 10 out of 12 of the minifigures. So later on, I'll open the other two, hopefully when the app starts working. And we'll find out if the QR codes do hold the key to which minifigure you're getting. I mean, it's pretty consistent so far. We've got nine out of nine not a single one of these have been wrong and we'll take a look at the minifigures as well though i'll probably review these all another day i didn't realize how long just scanning some qr codes and opening lego boxes would take so i definitely underrated the whole process of just opening a complete wave of cmfs i really hope that these qrs are included on future lego boxes as it's a great way to not only pick up the random one if you still want, they're not telling you on the box which one's in them, but for die-hard collectors that want a full series, don't want to be paying £120, and eventually, as I keep saying, I hope to have a Bricklink store open so that I can buy at least a full box of these and sell on two full series to you guys at home, and probably even do it so that it's channel-specific, so that I can drop a link on my channel and get you to view it before everyone else that's a few years in the future don't worry we'll probably even be live streaming them at that point but for now let's jump ahead to opening the first of the two and again we'll start with the left and now the app is finally working i tested it out with the goat herder and onto the left one it thinks we are going to be getting the pet groomer if that last box is not the mushroom kid i am going to be so disappointed we have waited so long my fiance has sat patiently in the background we expected it to be one of the first ones to be pulled especially waiting for it we do indeed have for this one that looks like the pet groomer we do have the dog which was sort of camouflaged and there i got worried for a second that we didn't have the pet for the pet groomer to i guess groom but it does have a very unique hairpiece. I'm not sure if it is exclusive. It's the same sort of earpiece that we have. It's a hearing aid for this minifigure. I think it's the same piece that was included for the New Horizons character, which is a great set, especially if you're a fan of the Bad Batch, because we've just actually watched the episode today with the similar creature. But as you can see, there are two pairs of scissors, I guess, if they wanted to uh, two hands cut the hair of the dog. The scissors are an interesting element themselves before we get into the minifigure because the person can actually put their two sides of the hands in each side of the scissor. But the dog is a brand new breed that we are getting. I'm not sure what breed it is, so feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But it is a very hairy dog that definitely needs some grooming. There's a nice apron apron even on the pet groomer which does have a nice paw which as i said can definitely be turned into some festive jumper and the little apron piece down here can definitely be used for arts and craft so it'd be great to build some of my custom minifigures and now finally for the last one let's tick off the pet groomer just down here there is one more minifigure we need to get and i'm gonna let my fiance open it whilst i talk over it so now, as my fiance is opening the box, we'll scan it just to make sure it is the correct one. And it just goes to show how easy this scanner is to use. It's not the easiest, but all you've got to do is position it over the QR code. There is the mushroom sprite. Hopefully that is correct. It's the final one we need of this series 25. And 
I really wish they'd still kept the perforated edge, but the grand reveal it is indeed the mushroom sprite. So we can relax. We've got the full series. Nothing's gone wrong in this video, or at least not in the way of collecting all of the minifigures. No missing pieces. A bunch of spares we'll look at afterwards. And the mushroom sprite does have a nice little skirt to go over the short leg pieces. It's a nice little white dress and also has some very cute childish like face print which is double sided as with most of the other minifigures in this series and I think the best thing that makes it stand out amongst the others is that little mushroom dome headpiece which is definitely going to be used for a custom toad at some point and also comes with a nice printed butterfly, nothing exclusive, I'm pretty sure it's the same as all of the other blue butterflies we've been getting, but if it is a new printing, that is lovely to see, I will have to compare it later on, and with that clipped on the hand, that is our final minifigure, so let's take a look at the full series. And I know this has been a long video, do make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the review, and last but definitely not least in fact it was the most anticipated minifigure honestly you couldn't have planned that to have gone any better i guess it really was best till last in this case we've got a full collection of all 12 cmf lego series 25 minifigures i am so happy because this is the best it could have gone and i know i said i'm reviewing them another day i did say it's nothing special about the butterfly here but it is actually a brand new printed butterfly. You can see the old blue one we got on the right. This is a much nice, well, I can't say it's much nicer. Both butterflies are nice in their own respect, but I do prefer the blue and green. It's a lot lighter colors and definitely goes better with the mushroom sprites. So I will be going over all of these minifigures individually, reviewing all the different aspects from them. We've got a quick look now, and I have mentioned about things like the goat, like the old minifigure that's based off and again the butterfly but if you yourself wanted to scan the boxes yourself this is the brick search app i will leave its full name in the description and probably a link to the google play store if you did want to download it on your phone so make sure you are watching this you can also see at the bottom there are places you can buy them so right now it's only listing john lewis and lego for buying the cmfs online you could buy them online, scan the QR codes and send them back if you don't like which minifigure you've got. But I'm not sure they'll always necessarily accept your returns if you just say, I don't want this one. I mean, it's a valid reason for sending it back. You don't want it anymore and plans do change, but they might cotton on after a while. So definitely be sure to head in store. As I said, I've seen them in Morrison's. They're usually in Asda's, Tesco's, all shops here in the UK, more or less. Smith's, Entertainer, wherever you buy your Lego. And I'm sure overseas, it's near enough the same. You can buy them in so many stores. In fact, you can actually buy them in more stores than you can buy most Lego sets. So do let me know if you've had as much success as I have, as we have here opening all of the CMFs. It's great that you can choose which ones you get because some people won't want all of them and will want many of the Bat Lord or the Goat to collect, build an army and have an army of goats attacking the Lion's Knights, which would be very, very fun to do. But before I wrap up this video, I won't be speaking about the spare pieces in the next video. So we do have a bunch of cool printed pieces, especially the 25 disc, the mouse. I think they're the most impressive, a bunch of usual pieces, but this mouse is really cool. I guess the more of these gamers you buy, the more mice you can have and probably team it up against another one. Just give it a regular Lego keyboard. Keyboards are included a lot, but the mice tend to just be a plain tile without this cool printing on. So it's very nice to get that. Again, they'll be sorted out to their respective drawers, but just taking a look at the full series, I'm very happy to have got this. This will be going with my other CMFs. Let me know if you would like to see them in that Smith's display from yesterday's video. Go check it out, watch the video so you know what I mean, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the full review of this series. Once again, I can't wait to see the next CMFs Lego put out. Perhaps one day I'll end up collecting the licensed themes as well. But for now, I'm sticking to the Lego Pure themes. And may the bricks be with you always.